Hello again, everyone. Uh, just a quick update on uh, some newly available uh, game packages from GOG. Uh, we've got the Crin series, the Dark Sun series, and the Ravenloft series. Uh, the Ravenloft series uh, contains uh, Strahd's Possession and uh, Stone Prophet. Um, you will probably see me uh, play these at some point in the future. I uh, can't say when. Uh, but I am interested in playing the games. I have never played either of them before, so I am kind of looking forward to that. Um, those really interested in seeing me uh, uh, play that, you can feel free to um, make a comment. I uh, might bump it up in the queue a bit. Uh, Dark Sun games are also available. Uh, we've got uh, Shattered Lands and Wake of the Ravager. Um, not ruling out playing these, but I'm not a big fan of Dark Sun, so... Um, they are much lower on the tier of things that I want to play, so to speak. Um, but again, um, you know, more people who mention that they want to see me play them, the more likely it'll be to come sooner rather than later. And of course, the Kryn series, which uh, contains the three gold box games, Champions of Kryn, Death Knights of Kryn, and Dark Queen of Kryn. Unfortunately, it does not contain any of the non-gold box games. Which I was honestly kind of expecting. Um, I was kind of looking forward to that. There's a few, uh, I think there's like four? Three or four. Um, let's see, there are two side-scrolling ones. Heroes of the Lance and something else that I can't remember the name of right now. Um, that I have played, I am horrible at. Uh, but may play, you know, may do Let's Plays of. I own them both. Um, somewhere. Um, uh, again, they they may end up being more like what I did with Hillsfar, which was just kind of a sampling of what the game is like, because I'm really bad at them. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it'll, it'll, I mean, I, I may pull them out and play them a little bit to try to get back into it, and hey, who knows, maybe I'm better today than I was when I was a kid. Um... But there's a, a couple uh, strategy-based um, ones, I think, um, which I don't know the, the names of offhand, and I have not played those, uh, which I was kind of interested in um, tinkering around with and uh, seeing if I could uh, play them well enough to turn into a Let's Play. Um, unfortunately, not there. Who knows, maybe we'll see another uh, Kryn package uh, down the road. Um, the fact that they've got these means that they have... Um, uh, I mean, they, you know, any any licensing issues that, that may have been there, which I don't know why there would have been for the Kryn series, but that's cleared, so um, maybe it's just a, a matter of getting good copies of the other ones. I don't know. Um... What's left is a bunch of one-off stuff. There's, like, the Birthright game. I don't think that's available. Uh, although that might be available elsewhere, and I'm just not forgetting it. I've never played it. I've only seen uh, Kikoski's uh, Let's Play of it. Um, there's also, I think, a couple, uh, two or three um, uh, original D&D &D games, uh, my Stara-based, uh, like Stronghold, I think. Um, I don't think I've played any of those. Um... What else? What else? What else? Uh, oh, there is the Spelljammer game. I am not anticipating that getting put up on GOG. Uh, it's it's not a good game. It really isn't. Um, it's incredibly buggy. And this is coming from someone who loves Spelljammer. So, I, you know, I, I'd be more likely to give a pass to something, um, you know, that kind of sucked but was Spelljammer than... But it, it's just not a good game. It's incredibly buggy. Um, also remaining are the two, uh, Buck Rogers games, uh, Gold Box games. Again, I think like I said in the last episode, uh, or last update video like this, I'm not anticipating seeing them. Uh, it, I, I think the, the rights issues are probably the holdup on that. Hey, it's possible, who knows? Um, I'm, to be perfectly honest, I'm kind of surprised seeing these at all considering that um, I don't think the company that uh, bought SSI actually holds the rights to D&D video games anymore, so I imagine that that would have been something that needed to be worked out. Who knows? I don't... whatever. Uh, but that, I'm sure, is going to be, uh, you know, those are... If they come, I will be happy and incredibly surprised. So, um, if you're watching this GOG, you know where to go. 
You know what I'm looking for, even though I own them both. I'll buy them again. Anyway, um, so yes, uh, three new uh, um, AD&D game uh, packs up on GOG. So go check them out, uh, play them, uh, especially the Kryn series. Highly recommend uh, those, especially Champions of Kryn and uh, Dark Queen of Kryn. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll be back in some months for another update series, uh, another update video of uh, more AD&D games uh, up on uh, GOG. See you next time, everyone.